You know what's amazing about being in this room? And it just hit me now. I'm in a room with people who say, yeah, I met him in northern Afghanistan 15 years ago, like he's talking about the Starbucks on 53rd. You know, it's, I'm sorry, uh, anyway. Um, the Ed Cunningham Magazine Award is sponsored by Ford Motor Corporation. The citation goes to Mathieu Aikens of Harper's Magazine for Gangs of Karachi. The winner is Tristan McDonald of Foreign Policy for Close Your Eyes and Pretend to Be Dead. McDonald, McConnell tracked down survivors, first responders, and police to, to deliver a retelling of the Westgate Mall Massacre in Nairobi in September of 2013 that killed at least 67 people. Tristan came in from Nairobi to accept this award in person. It's a tremendous honor to receive this award today. Terrorist attacks against civilian targets have become increasingly, appallingly common. We've seen them in Tunisia, France, the US, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Ivory Coast in just the last year. As foreign correspondents, we're used to packing our bags and heading to whichever conflict or crisis we've persuaded our editors to take an interest in, but it's less common to have the story come crashing into our daily lives. I was lighting up a lunchtime barbecue when I got the first phone calls about shooting at the Westgate Mall, and soon afterwards I went down there. It was a beautiful, warm, clear Saturday afternoon in Nairobi. I could hear gunfire from inside the mall and see hundreds of terrified shoppers running out past the bullet hole cars parked on the street. When it was all over, three days later, at least 67 people were dead. At the time, all of us as reporters snatched at scraps of information to file our reports. We did our best with what we had, only it turned out that what we thought was happening was in fundamental ways wrong. But the story ended and everyone moved on to the next crisis. So this was my effort to atone for that, to set the record straight and tell both a factual and an emotional truth about it. I wanted to capture the big picture and the small specific moments, the silent prayers of mothers, Faith and Catherine trapped with their children, the selfless heroism of Michael, Noura and Abdul, risking their lives for strangers. Arnold listening to Justin Timberlake on repeat as he lay bleeding on the floor of a burger restaurant. Simon's dawning horror as he realizes the scale of the attack that's left him hiding and wounded beneath a car. I wanted to transport readers inside the mall and inside the minds of the people, ordinary people just like them, to inspire the empathy that's required if foreign reporting is to do what it must which is to make us recognize our common humanity, even if we look different or live differently. I'd like to thank Rebecca Frankel and Ty McCormick at Foreign Policy for embracing this story when I brought it to them. But my greatest gratitude is to those without whom none of us here would achieve anything in our professional lives. And that's the many people who agreed to talk to me, often at great length and with an incredible raw openness, and were willing to share their experiences and their stories. Thank you.